Hello and welcome to my latest movie soundtrack update for November 16th, 2013. Yeah, so after the movie last night when we saw Old Boy Me, JTI, and Derek, we went over to Amoeba Records, which is right across the street from the LA Film School, and we picked up, I, at least I picked up, some brand new soundtracks. There's my soundtracks, I picked up five. And the price came to about $10, so I figure I got about $2 a soundtrack because two times five is $10. So anyways, um, yeah, I picked up five soundtracks and I'm gonna pick them out uh, at random and see and talk about them and show them off a little bit. So here we go, the first soundtrack I picked up for about $2 is Meet the Parents from 2000, a score written by Randy Newman, who also wrote The Natural, Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, and many, many other great films. I believe he won an Oscar for Toy Story 3 and for Monsters, Inc. Yes, or Monsters, yeah, Monsters, Inc. So anyways, in 2000, he wrote the score for the first Meet the Parents movie. I don't know if he continued his journey on that. I'm really interested to listen to the soundtrack. I really enjoyed this movie. This is one of the greatest comedies of the year of 2000, and I think of the last 15 years. It's a really great comedy, and hopefully it holds up really well. Though it's been years since I've seen it, I don't really remember the score, but I couldn't pass this up for about $2. So there you go, there's the beautiful soundtrack of the front of Meet the Parents starring Rob De Niro and Ben Stiller. There is the back, the track listing, there is some music that was from the film. There's some source music score by Randy Newman and a song written by Randy Newman or maybe a couple I really don't know. Inside we have the disc and a nice photo art. That's a nice little disc art right there I'd say. And nice photo, let's open it up. And inside we get some great photos, a lot of great stuff, track listings information about the disc on the back there's some more track uh photos i mean pretty cool man awesome looking forward to hearing this soundtrack so the next soundtrack i picked up is from 2002 about a boy the score written by badly drawn boy i haven't heard this soundtrack or this movie in a very long time though i do own the film but i remember the soundtrack being very very unique and very interesting and i i really liked it by badly drawn boy and i'm really looking forward to listening to this soundtrack i haven't listened to it yet so there is the front of this great film starring hugh grant i believe and a young nicholas hoth 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 who I believe is in the X-Men First Class, and I believe he's also in Days of Future Past. He's actually gone on to have a really great career, grow up, and hopefully he'll have, continue to have a great career, and I really, I think he was on Skins once at one time. Really love that show, the original Skins. So there is the front of the cover of the disc. There is the back, the track listings. I'm really interested to listen to all of this. Let's open it up. And inside, it's a white cover, white disc. There it is about a boy. And let's show you what's inside. So there we go, we got, looks like uh, the lyrics to the songs that were created for this wonderful film. There we go, hey, it says right here, I could buy the soundtrack for the brand new film about a boy. Yes, hopefully I get it for $2 like I got it today. <laughs> Next soundtrack is, oh, As Good As It Gets from 1997, the Oscar winning film. Uh, nominated also for Best Picture, but it went on to win Best Actor and Best Actress. And uh, I think this film is better than Titanic. And I would have been happy to see this film win over Titanic, but of course it was 97 and Titanic was huge. But this is such a great movie. This is a great score by Hans Zimmer. There's also some source music on here, but I really just care about the score by Hans Zimmer. And that's the front of the disc, James Brooks' masterpiece and his second best film, his first great film, I believe. In my opinion, is Terms of Endearment. This is a great film as well. So there's the back with the track listings and what else is on the disc. Let's open it up. And there is the disc. Pretty cool disc. And this one actually has a lot to it. I actually opened this up and listened to this already. This is a lot of pictures, so we'll show those really off really quick. So there's the front. Open it up. You get inside, you get a nice letter from James L. Brooks to Hans Zimmer. So you can see that. Pretty damn cool. But it's on the other side that's pretty cool in my opinion. So there we go, look at that. All the wonderful pictures of as good as it gets. That is, that is awesome. They put some effort into this disc back in 1997. So the next disc that I picked up is from 1994, Clear and Present Danger, starring Harrison Ford. I believe this was the third and final time he played Jack Ryan, directed by Philip Noss, Noyce, um, 
this is not the third time he played him. It was the second time he played him, but it's the third Jack Ryan film. Of course, the first time was Alec Baldwin. This score is written by James Horner. I don't remember this score at all. I haven't seen this film in many, many years. I don't own the film, but I couldn't pass it up for a couple bucks to see this and, and listen to the score and hopefully be inspired to buy the film. I really enjoyed the film when it first came out in 1994, so I'm really looking forward to seeing this. This is like a really cool paper uh, packaging. So let's open it up. Boom. There's some nice artwork right there. Boom. And there's the disc. That's a pretty cool disc right there. And I don't know if there's anything behind it. Let's see. Oh. Harrison Ford's character Jack Ryan in love. I believe her name was Ann Archer. I don't see her much anymore. But uh, there she goes. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't her name. So there you go. That's what's inside. Let's put the disc back on. See that one last time. And then on the back, some cool photo work right there. Track listings, cover again. So nice little cool little packaging for that. So Clear and Present Danger, 1994. I believe it's 94. Oh, this is a reissue from 2001, but it is from 1994, yes. Nice little reissue, 2001, but a film that was made in the 90s. And finally, number five, I got Star Trek for The Voyage Home. The score is written by Leonard Rosenman. It actually is the second time a Star Trek movie was nominated for Best Score. The first time that happened was in 1979, Jerry Goldsmith for the first Star Trek The Motion Picture. But this is uh, my second favorite Star Trek movie, and I think it's the second best one out of the whole entire series. It's just a great entertaining, uh, original series. It's just a really great entertaining, awesome, funny, cool movie that's just fun. I like how they go back in time to 1986, especially that's when the movie came out in 1986. I remember when my grandmother took me and my brother to go see this in the theaters. I remember it like it was yesterday and it was so awesome to see it then. I own it in my collection. I love it. And the soundtrack's not so bad either. Uh, I think the James Horner score is better and definitely deserves the nomination but it didn't get nominated. This one did. It's a good one. It's a good one. Don't get me wrong. It's a good one. But it's just not as good as James Horner or Jerry Goldsmith. So here's the soundtrack. The front of the soundtrack. There's the back with the track listings. There's some weird music on here. Especially 80s style. I don't know what the deal was, but uh, it sounds almost like... There's a few tracks that actually sound like they were maybe composed by Kenny G. Weird. Anyways, so there you go. Let's open it up. And inside, you get the cool disc art from the 1986 sound... Uh, that's not really cool. And let's take this off. Paper. And show you inside that there is some cool photos, track listings. There's the cool photo. That's about it. And then let's give you another look at those great photos from that great film. And then on the side, there is that awesome Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. So there you go. That's my latest movie soundtrack update. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to have more in the future very, very soon. I'm Movie Matt Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to we Live Film. And if you enjoyed this review, please subscribe. Hit this button right here and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And if you collect movie soundtracks, I would love to see videos from you. Show me off. Show off your collection. I would just, that'd be awesome. I'd love to see more stuff like that. So talk to you later. Have a great day and peace.